Yo, what's up, YouTube? So anyway, uh, this is a video about my cabin air filter. And uh, what I suggest to you guys is do this more than often. More often than not, however you want to say that. Uh, there's some good videos on how to remove all of this junk to get to it, which I think is crazy, the um, steps you have to go to to get to your cabin air filter. But anyway, um, you drop your... Uh, Open up your glove box. Here's your armature for, uh, you know, coming in and out on the uh, whatever kind of, you know, it uses to dampen the uh, the drop down. And you just kind of lift up on your glove box a little bit towards your dash. So you're going to lift it up towards your dash and kind of pull this towards you away from the dash. It'll pop out and then you push, depress your little bump stop, guys. It'll drop all the way down like this. You take your little tray out of your mini glove box just pull it out it'll pop out these little guys right here and then it'll expose your two seven mil uh screws which look like that and then you're gonna look at towards the rear back there once you pop this out i'm gonna tell you the truth this uh this tray was a sob to yank out be careful of your wires don't pull too hard on that side Anyway, you'll see something that looks like this sit in the back. You pull up outwards on these little tabbies, drops down, and you'll see your filter in there with the Ford logo, everything up right like this. So anyway, ink it out. And I'm going to make sure that everything matches here. Yes, that looks like um, some stuff that I just saw on the other guy. Sure. Comparison. Dude, freaking nasty. Clean? Freaking nasty. So, this is about 20K on my truck. Uh, lots of um, road driving, but also some desert driving. So, uh, you can see where tree stuff got in there, some pollen -y type of stuff that you probably don't want to breathe in. Messes up your sinuses. You can tell I'm a little sinusy right now, but that's because I have a sinus infection. Part number you guys want to use for this right there. So what I suggest you guys do, I'm going to start doing this every 10K. To be honest with you, I've had this sitting there for about 5,000 miles, and I just forgot about it. I was wondering why my, wondering why my truck stank so bad. You know, with my California charcoal, whatever you want to call it, soaker upper thing, soak up the smells. And then these little guys right here, my Hawaiian scents, you know, could be, could be because I'm partly Hawaiian. I don't know. But um, anyway, it smells good. Uh, that's disgusting. So you don't want to be breathing that crap in. Your family doesn't want to be breathing that crap in. It's just going to ask for all kinds of asthmatic, asthmosis, asthmatosis. You don't want to deal with that. So... Keep these on standby. Um, I suggest going to uh, Amazon. That's where I got this from. I'm going to tell you the honest to God truth. I don't remember what it was as far as price goes, but super cheap. Cheaper than the oil filter. And they saw other ones. I saw, um, God, I forget, Fram. I think Fram has one. You don't have to worry about it going on your engine, so it's going to be all right. And um, anyway, they have one that has the uh, gain, I think, gain fresh scent or something anyway i might try that out but for right now i'm just gonna stick with the motorcraft guys and uh keep on plugging them in there it's just it's just a shame that this has to be such a um such a pain to get to because if you're gonna have to do this every 10k you know these these little these little clips right here they're not gonna last too long you know they're just gonna get so wore out from you doing it all the time over the life of the vehicle it's just gonna i don't know Poor design by Ford, I, I believe. Uh, overall, I am very, very, very pleased with this truck. The power, everything with it, I'm very pleased. But there are certain little things that they should have thought about. Um, just, just, I mean, just because, you know, you know this is going to get wore out. But anyway, pretty good to go. But, uh, yeah, got to do this. We got a road trip coming up, and I did not want this to be... Um, in our blown in our faces the whole time and we have to put on recycle when we head to superstition because it gets nasty falling behind other vehicles we got the trailer she's loaded she's got the razor she's got everything in there we just got to put the quad in the back of the truck and then we are done ready to go 
yeah, race. So, um, yeah, just a uh, little update on that. Make sure you guys change it out. Don't breed that crap in. You're asking for problems. Laters.